bought by a company called Salamanca. Um, they're looking to develop it as a, uh, well, it's, it's an enterprise zone as this designated by the government. They're looking to have a fairly substantial power generator on the site um, together with what they want to see is, is innovative and new um, development of businesses. So they're talking to big internationals like the sort of Googles of this world as to whether they, they want to set it up as a, a national hub for investment in new technologies. Um, they're working in discussion apparently with Bath University who have some major investments in electronic uh, development, particularly of electronic vehicles and batteries. And they're looking to, to in effect, make the enterprise zone a, uh, a major uh, element for, for new uh, industries there. They're looking still for about four or 5,000 jobs to be on there when it's finished. And the, the company that are involved have done a number of overseas uh, developments. They're looking to base, and it's, it's encouraging if it happens, but they're looking to base it on some of the developments in California and Silicon Valley, um, where they also had in, interest. So it, it's, it's very much up, up market for, um, for taking that site forward. We've also just had notification through from the Royal Town Planning Institute that Sedgemoor has, has won an award for um, the developments associated with Hinkley, particularly what they're describing as the legacy developments um, which are coming through that will still be there after the event, so not the little boxes on the way into, into Bridgewater which are there for accommodation at the moment because those will be going, but in terms of work with things like Cannington Court and the redevelopment of the listed building there and how that's now being used as a major centre, the investments in and around the college which is now obviously the major nuclear training facility now, um, so they are are going well. We've also just been advised that we are top in the country in terms of um, decision making, uh, speed of decision making in Sedgemoor for both majors and uh, minor applications as well. So it's uh, it's moving forward well. So um, other than that, the main thing on both of the other both of the councils is we're heading into budget round. Um, precepts and stuff will be set in February. So there's a lot of work being done on the budgets, and we're waiting to hear from government actually how much money they're giving to the uh, the districts and counties. There is a lot of talk at the moment, particularly on the county, of not so much money being given to the county, but the ability for the county to ask local residents for more. So as you know, we are capped at the moment at about 2%. Last year, there was a 3% increase on top of that, which was designated specifically for social services, adult social services. The discussion at the moment from government appears to be they're looking at potentially a 2% element for children's social services, which, as you know, as I mentioned at the last meeting, is nationally overspent by something like 800 million, and in county, the current overspend was about 20 million. So that budget is now being being reviewed um, and has been increased um, to try and keep the services going that we're doing. But obviously, that doesn't mean there's having to be reductions in other budgets, uh, and that will be part of the budget round that we have in the new year. But happy to take any questions, Chairman. Uh, uh, Colin? Um, just a, as an aside question, really, Bob, but is homelessness a problem in um, both district and county? It is. I mean, it's dealt with mainly by the district rather than by the county because mm -hmm. housing is, is, a, is a district function. Um, yes, it is. Across the, there has been an increase in, in homelessness across Sedgemoor. Um, there is a stretch. Well, the, the, the Sedgemoor have been working with people like the CAB to create ways of trying to avoid homelessness. So a lot of it can come from family breakdown and particularly teenagers being, I say asked to leave home, but leave yeah. home for one reason or another. There's a lot of work that goes into now um, discussions with families to try and avoid that sort of breakdown happening uh, and, and to avoid homelessness before it starts, but there is there is an element. Also, obviously, the affordable housing that Sedgemoor is, is looking to, to see created is as a response to, to lack of, of homes in the area. They're also looking at whether there are other ways of creating particularly single person units. Um, there's a discussion going on with Bristol at the moment because they've done some work with conversion of in effect, containers. containers. Yeah, yeah. down St Phillips. Yes. And they are they are in discussion with them to yeah. see whether that's something that could be done in Sedgemoor. Again, it's finding the right location yeah. for them to go. But 
but it's not mm. it's not as bad as it sounds. It's not sort of putting people in a steel container. They are fully refurbed and, and, yeah. and made into yeah. nice, relatively nice units. Yeah. So that's something that Sesmo is actively working on. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it should no matter what's happened to that. That's still owned by. Well, that's now owned by EDF because they bought it when they bought the whole Sydenham site. Uh, sorry, the whole Inovia site. So they own it. They, I believe, they have done some some works to improve it, but it's um, it's obviously a I think it's grade two listed. It might even be two yeah, star. But it's uh, it is still there, and it's sort of hidden behind some of the new developments that's going on yeah. at the moment. But it is it is still protected. Anything else? Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Paul. Moving on. Anything on footpaths, Peter? No, not uh, that I'm aware of. It's just muddy. Just muddy. It's getting muddy. Yeah. Thank you. Highways, Malcolm? No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Peter. Oh, yeah. the, have we gone out to Dave Wellen about the footpath in the church? Yeah. Keep me. No, no. He's, no, he's, no, he's on my list of reminders to yeah. him. Yes. I send him. What I do with Dave now is I send him a. Uh, pro forma every every month with outstanding jobs on it. Yeah. 